A nice little Christmas present for the Barnet fans. What do you think of it? Obviously, emphatic victory. Um, I think we've been playing to that level. Even in the defeats, we've been playing to that level. Um, the big difference today was we were much better than both boxes. Uh, we made a slight error early in the game. Danny made an error of a cotton ball. Laurie made a solid save. His only real save of the game. Um, and we've had them phases of play all season. Great to have Reese back his pacing behind. Um, obviously, Idris today, not 100%, so we didn't risk him. Coke's come in and gave us good experience. Um, but from our point of view, um, we've had a, a lot of them phases in the majority of games. We played with a high line, which I hear people don't like. Um, but I'll play the way we play. And that's this, this is the reward for the way we play, for the bravery we show, for the courage we have as a team. These are the results that are, that are the reward for that. You get the... We've been, I think we've been, our last four goals we've conceded in the division, we've conceded from all restarts. So we worked on a lot of them this week. We don't just throw it together and, you know, a big team. So look, all in all, I thought it was an emphatic victory and a, a great early Christmas present for us. Were there any tweaks you tried to make for today or was it more just it clicked after all these games? No, nah, no, nah, it wasn't even a click. Just better in both boxes, more clinical. Um, and that's really been the problem. We haven't scored enough goal when we dominated. I think we had 70% possession last week. There's no doubt we'll probably have the same again this week. We've had it the majority of the season. Um, and yeah, we stick to our beliefs and the beliefs I have that I've installed in the football club and the team. So, like I always say, when you go through the tough times, you see who the real people are. And uh, we've got a lot of good people here, a lot of good real people here. And, and, that's, uh, and that's testament to all of us. A few weeks ago, you mentioned needing to be a little bit more direct. Do you still think that's the case? We, we haven't really gone direct. Uh, the only place we went direct was away at Wheelstone because um, they're susceptible physically. So and it's a tight pitch there. Obviously, I know the pitch really well. It's tight. There's a hill on it. Um, and in the end, we got sucker punch. But uh, look, I didn't think we went direct at all today. I thought the majority of our phases were similar to the, what they've been 99% of the time this season. Um, and someone was going to get a hiding off us. You know, even last week when we were one up at Ebsley, we should have made it two, three, four. We never did. And we got hurt for that. And that's the business. So the main thing for me is, is the players still believe in what I'm asking them to do and, and what I'm showing them to do, what I'm coaching them to do. And we don't just say, I'll oh, do this. You know, we watch video, we analyse the opposition, we respect the opposition. We see a little bit of luck with the red card as well. Um, I, I didn't fully see it uh, personally. I didn't, see, I didn't, you know, so obviously it's come out red card. So, and we've managed the game really, really well. So going into what's going to be a really tough week, great start to it. The big scoreline is what's going to get talked about and rightly so, but how important is that clean sheet? Huge for us. That builds confidence. Clean sheets bring success. You know, the team that gets the most clean sheets, nine times out of ten will get promoted. Um, and that brings success. And we just haven't had enough, nowhere near enough. I think that might be our seventh in the division in 24 games. That's just not enough. That needs to be 14. Uh, and we need a bigger goal difference as well. I think we're plus 14 now again. And for me, our performances deserve more clean sheets. But that just shows how relentless the division is. There's no easy games. Boreham will come, come into this game off the back of winning two games. But to win a derby the way we did is uh, is excellent. The main thing for us, our supporters, they can enjoy that now. There's been a lot of tough times against Boreham. Before I got here, I don't think the club ever beat Boreham. I think that's actually a stat. And uh, we've got here now. We've come up against you several times. Luke's a great manager. It's just been one of them days for him. And uh, we've, all been, we've all had them days, all of us. And then a hat-trick from Nicky Kabamba. What do you think of his performance? Yeah, outstanding. Uh, three today. Is that 23 for the season? It's not even Christmas yet. He's, you know, the main thing about Nicky, he wants to learn. Um, when I first brought him in, as he was a channel runner player. We have turned him into an our goal scorer. And once someone is receptive to learning and they want to do things right, he's got the right character. You look at his goals today; they're all on the shoulder. Um, we don't really want him coming to feet, and then he's getting on the end of things. So delighted for him. Uh, he's a great kid, and uh, long may I continue him to keep scoring. And then Jordan's come off the bench there. His first game for the club, first goal for the club as well. What can he bring? Yeah, he's got quality, hasn't he? You know, if I'm being honest, when teams are sitting in against us and making it difficult for us, the biggest thing we have to learn, like when you're watching football matches, if you look at everyone that's come here for the last seven games, they've all come and sat in. So someone like Jordan Maguire Drew can just open that door, he comes on, he finds pockets, he finds spaces, and he's got quality, he's got lots of composure. Um, he had a, a shot from distance that wasn't too far away. He's got ran down that channel where there was a little bit of space. He sees space, he goes into it, and he can hold the opposition. I've been after Jordan since last October. It's been a long, long time. Not the October just gone, the October before. <laughs> We've been after him for a long time. And uh, we managed to get it done this week. So that was a long week. I tried to get it done on Monday, and I managed to get it done Friday afternoon. So they're not just easy to make these deals done. 
Uh, we're not a football club that have deep pockets. I think that's very important for everyone to understand. And we can't be looking at any other football club other than ourselves. And what we have got here is togetherness, character. We've got some courage and bravery within the players now. And they showed their capabilities today, so they deserve, deserve all the plaudits. Are there any other positions that you'd like to bring in a bit more depth? Yeah, yeah, we will. It's quality now. It's not depth, it's actual quality. You've seen some players leave because we've got to balance the books. Some players that haven't fulfilled what we thought they would have done at the football club. Some needed to go play games. Don Revan needs more games. Under his belt, he's a young lad. Uh, Marvin Armstrong will probably go out and play some games as well now. He needs to go out and play several clubs after him. Um, and who else has gone out? Obviously, Sam Barrett, I want to thank him for his contribution. Sam Beard, what an honest lad he was. Sam Barrett, great lad, just didn't walk out. More of a wing out, wants to play in a 4-3-3 or a 4-4-2, so didn't walk out for us. Uh, but a good kid, very professional. Uh, lovely lad to have around the place. Sam Beard was a stalwart, helped get this team out of relegation and make it a playoff team. Um, so he deserves a special mention. Great kid, he'd, he'd go through brick walls for you. Uh, you can't go far wrong with lads like him. But we're just looking for quality now. So if it's one bit of quality like a Jordan Maguire drill, we'll, we'll try and make that happen. But that takes time. The market's opening soon, so a lot of EFL players will come available. So we just got to make sure we get the right characters and the right players that fit what we do. Is that for any specific positions or will you just see what comes up? Uh, you always want to upgrade, you know. Um, and there's loads of upgrades at this level so we just got to get the right characters there is a couple of positions where we think we can do a little bit better but the main thing for air players it's all about them now you know they've got to give themselves a good pat on the back and uh, we're in tomorrow uh we're in tomorrow right in early nine o'clock christmas eve and um yeah we'll, we'll, we'll recover and then we'll focus on what's going to be a great game at south end on uh on st stevens's day as we say in ireland thanks for your time